Well, I have been a nurse. I started my career in nursing uh, years ago and like studying so much, kept going to school and ultimately ended up with a PhD in nursing. I started teaching nursing when I was quite young, but then had a very large home health care business for a number of years and decided that teaching really was where my heart was at a university to go in and uh, really take a deeper dive into how we use knowledge in decision making. Loved my job as a professor, uh, loved teaching, loved research. I retired somewhat early, I suppose, for a professor to transition into the role of writer author for the second phase, I guess, of my working life. So I teach people writing, fellow writers hosting workshops and retreats or coaching one-on-one, -on -one, a few clients at a time if they need that as part of what I do now, as part of my writing life. When I wrote my book called The Accidental Caregiver, Wisdom and Guidance to help family caregivers through challenging or unexpected circumstances, I realized that all of my themes were accessible to anybody who's living life and particularly anybody experiencing uh, challenges or difficulties. Being a yoga teacher and having been practicing yoga for nearly 20 years has really enhanced my, my writing and the way I face life. Like many people, I went into yoga for the physical practice of it. I have now been able to develop yoga and writing practices. So from the body to the page, helping people tap into what they are experiencing, thinking or feeling, and then how can you translate to the page? Because yoga is very much a, an individual practice. We're on our mats. We're not competing with anybody else. We're not competing with ourselves. We're being in the moment. And when we're in the moment, things just synapse differently. We know a lot more about neuroplasticity now and that our mind has the ability to react and respond and we can train it. We can exercise that muscle too. And all of that really helps us dig deeper as an individual, but also it's particularly helpful for writers, uh, regardless of what you're writing. We can just settle our mind to get into that state of zen and relaxation where we're not consciously trying to solve every problem that's coming at us. Just learn to slow down. We are able to see things more clearly, more deeply, and then articulate it if we sit down later after our practice and start to write or through a practice. When I use the term from the body to the page with the intent of relaxing enough so that things can come in, our body will guide us. And so some of my practices that I've developed for, for writers really use our body to help us get the words down on the page. And it's like magic. Sometimes people don't know what they need. And so if I've sparked anything, go to my website, Kimberly, FraserAuthor.com and sign up for my infrequent but informative newsletter. And I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to introduce you to my unique uh, practices that I've developed or have you come to one of my writing intensives.